So thus far, we've really only focused on making one visualization at a time. But of course, it's very common or very likely that you're going to want to have um, one, more than one in a project so that you can give us a broader context. And for your homework, you're working on that as well. So let's look at how we would add multiple visualizations within a single page. Um, and you can see it here. We're not going to write any code live here because I think that's just kind of boring for you. Um, but I have some previous ones that we looked at for um, ice cream related things. So that's our scatter plot on the bottom. And then I've also pulled up some data related to um, most popular ice cream flavors. I have some issues with this data set from personal preference, but we will not get into that now. Um, so the way that we need to do this, actually really all the work is gonna happen in a different file than we've been doing so far. I've got my first visualization here and this self-contained, oops, guy right here, this is our entire first visualization. You do it exactly the same. Then after that, you can repeat the structure exactly. And you can do that as many times as you want for different visualizations. The only thing that we need to change here is the ID for this uh, visualization. So you can think of the ID kind of like your ID number. Um, it's a unique to that particular visualization and you can call it whatever you want. So I'm calling it here popular flavors um, because that's what that visualization is. And then this one is ice cream consumption. Then we need to open this little uh, sidebar over here and you can do that with this arrow and go to index.html. In the next video, we're gonna talk more about this page because this is actually the web page that displays everything. And um, if you've ever looked in here before, you'll have noticed this canvas tag um, and then it had an ID which um, allowed us to create our chart in that location. In this case, then you'll wanna change the ID for that to be the same and it needs to be spelled exactly the same. Capitalization, all of that stuff, um, the same as in your sketch file. Uh, and then if you want to add another visualization, you can just create another canvas, change the ID, and then make sure, again, you're pointing to that in your code. So let's say we want to add one more, and I'm just going to duplicate this first one here. Let's say we want to add one more visualization. So I'm just going to grab this code. You would obviously not do that. And we'll just paste this down here. And I'm going to change the ID. Let's just call it popular flavors two. Now, if I run this, we won't see it. Um, and the reason, I mean, it's giving us a very cryptic error, um, but the reason is that there's no canvas for our chart to be displayed in. So it doesn't exist yet. So then I can go to my index page. Let's just copy paste this, change the uh, ID here. And now we can see we've got three visualizations all on the same page. Super easy. Um, so just keep in mind, you know, you need to kind of keep everything contained, make sure your spelling is accurate and um, consistent. And, um, and then the order of these canvas elements uh, determines the order that they get displayed. And that's it. Um, in the next video, we'll look at how to extend this by adding additional elements like text and images and stuff like that. But in terms of creating multiple visualizations, super easy.